Well, let's see if you want to the room before I get started. Just making sure everyone can hear this message. Well, welcome to becoming a woman by a TO person. And this is we're here at the number one at the U in Austin, Texas. So it's in person. Information as well as our email. If you need to get in direct contact with me, feel free to stop, ask questions, post questions in the live chat. Thank you. So, a little bit about HT, I promise. Our mission statement what we promise to bring all of our students. HT nurtures a legacy of leadership and excellence in education, connecting knowledge, power, passion, and values. Our vision statement is a connected thought matters. And what this means is that we want students from all over all different backgrounds. We want students to come to our school and feel welcome and embracing differences that different and different they have to bring. So HT, we make sure that we are always bringing together from different areas. So a little bit about we are the number one and the only for-profit college in the University of Austin, Texas. We are also the city's only institution of higher education, meaning that we were the first institution of higher education. Um, we were actually originally in Dallas, and we were burnt down when we moved to Austin. Um, so that's just a little fun fact. We were founded in 1875. Um, she is located on 19 acres of land. Town East Texas. We were the only one Houston Citizen College. We were one of the only American upstanding Houston College and Tillotson College. And this merger happened in 1952. We um, officially changed our name to Houston Citizen College in February of 2005. A little bit about who we are. We're a small, private, mighty liberal arts institution serving just over 1,100 students. Yes, 1,100. We award four-year degrees in physics, education, kinesiology. Those are just some of our more popular programs. And then we also offer two graduate program degrees in business and education. Now, like I said, we are diverse. We have probably our HBCU, 65% of our students are African-American. Asian white men who have been serving the national, but we are welcoming of all walks of life, all races, all students. We want everyone to come to HT and bring a piece of their culture and bring a piece to someone who may not be in your culture as you are to your culture. Some crazy fun facts about Austin, Texas. I just moved here and I love it. We are one of the sunniest cities in America. Coming from the Midwest, I can honestly vouch and say that it has been bright and sunny almost every day that I've been here. I'm so very grateful for that. Um, we are the number one fastest growing metropolitan area as of 2021. So is constantly getting, people are constantly moving here. This is a great place to want to be because we're one of the safest 
cities in the U.S. as well as the technology capital as well. So have you ever heard of Apple? Have you ever heard of Facebook? All of these headquarters are here, located right here in Austin. Great opportunities if you are into the tech world. Um, we're also having live music happening everywhere. So Austin City Limits Festival is coming up. So many opportunities. If you love loud music, I know my first week here, I attended a free Wale concert. Pretty awesome. So I need to hear more about us. Like I said, we were about founded in October 1952. We became a university officially in 2005. We're ranked right number three um, as one of the best HBCUs in Texas, like I said before. Downtown, right in the heart of Austin, located next to food trucks. There are so many different things to do in downtown. So much fun. Um, and our last stop is none other than the ranch. And you can see the ranch is just open. A little bit about the programs we have on campus. Um, we have over 20 student organizations, such as SGA, pre alumni Council. Um, we also have several academic organizations and campus ministries and Greek letter organizations. So if you, you know, your mom might be Greek or your dad might be Greek, this might be the place for you if you want to look into it. But also, we offer the opportunity for you to pioneer your own organizations on campus. So you get a couple of people together and you got some a bookstore or something of that sort, you can be a big player on that. We want leaders, we look for student leaders. So definitely, if you're in an involved student now, HT is for you. I do. We all I do. We want all of our students to embody these core values. I do mean integrity, diversity, excellence, accountability, and leadership. I personally, I do body this every day as a whole. My superior is accountable and I expect the same in return. Drop down in the chat which core value you personally identify. I would love to hear. Now are you a sports team? Do you enjoy athletics? If so we do have a great athletics program for men and women. We have basketball for men and women, cross country track and field for men and women. And then for our ladies, we have volleyball, cheerleading, softball. For our men, we have baseball and basketball and soccer as well. So all of these are great, great opportunities to play sports if you're interested. Now, we are a member of the Red River Athletic Conference. So NAIA is the branch we are under. And as you can see in this photo, in 2019, our volleyball, our girls volleyball were champions. So Volleyball, we want you. We're looking at the that title of you. Some of the great benefits we have now, because we are a small private institution, we do have very small classroom sizes. So if you struggle, you know, with a bunch of people in one setting, or if you don't want to be treated like a number, HT is the place for you. Because we have small classroom sizes, you'll know your professors one on one. You'll be able to connect. The resources on campus are unlimited. So that's definitely something you want to think about when applying to institutions. Do you want to be in a place where nobody knows your name? Or do you want to go where we know you face to face? Um, we have a diverse campus, as I stated. Although we are HBCU, we work on students from all parts of the world. Um, we are also, because we're smaller, we have really good internship opportunities. Um, so Apple, Tesla, all those tech agencies and tech companies that I was talking about earlier, you have great opportunities, to cut direct connections with these companies at HT. Um, we also have a very strong connection with United Methodist Church and the Church, United Church of Christ, as well as UNCF, which is also United Negro College Fund. Also known as UNCF. Um, UNCF, that is like one of the greatest benefits of being here at 
HT um, because there are only 37 HBCUs that are member institutions and that are funded by the United Negro College Fund. They have scholarships for everything, literally scholarships for if you have second toe longer than your first or your left-handed, so many different opportunities. And because HT is one of those member institutions, we're great. I know in 2018, I received several scholarships from UNCF, um, which helped. And anyone who created a profile that year also received a scholarship. So definitely an uh, advantage here at HT, as well as alumni support and networking. So because we're so small and we are private and we're funded by donations, um, we are lucky enough to have a great support system from our alumni. Um, upon graduating from HT, you're going to have the opportunity to network and meet many different people who, have, who may have different backgrounds or maybe in the field that you may want to go in. So I'm grateful that alumni here are so involved on campus with our students. They assist, they may adopt a student, several opportunities um, just because we're so small. So that alumni support is greatly appreciated here at HT. Some of the services that we offer, we have counseling services, disability services, our disability service system is amazing. If you have a learning disability and discretion is key here. So any support that you need pertaining to um, disabilities, we have that. Counseling services, Stephanie Coleman, she's amazing. She sends out emails every day on how you can lighten your workload, things to relieve stress. A bunch of tips are sent out daily from our counselors, uh, from our counselor here at HT. Center of Academic Excellence is the one-stop shop. If you need help with a writing uh, essay or our, our writing workshop is located there, as well as our advisors, um, tutors, peer mentors, everything you need literally is in the Center of Academic Excellence. When you class or get some advising, this is your one-stop shop. Our bookstore, if you want to get some RAM gear, some merch, you want to rep HT, some swag, some college swag. We have that here at the bookstore. Um, career and graduate services, health services, our IT department is amazing. Anything tech, they'll be able to help you with. Now we do offer a summer all-star bridge program, which is basically a six week program for students who may have struggled that last year of high school, because we know like, or even that first year in between, you know, sometimes it gets kind of hard, things do happen. And HT, we know that. So what we do is we offer this all-star bridge program where you can come and get a head start and take some developmental math and science courses, um, math and English courses. Um, also, you'll get a mentor. You'll get to experience college early before everyone gets on campus, you'll have that experience. And you'll also gain some credit. So it's definitely great. This last year we did it um, kind of virtual um, due to COVID, but we successfully completed that program and it was great. And it is a great, great, great opportunity if you wanna get ahead in your college career. So what, do you, what does it take to be a RAM? Here are our admission requirements. So if you cruised through school, you know, did what you need to, you excelled, these are the requirements that you'll have to meet. So regular admission is a 2.3 GPA to a 2.49 GPA. Automatic admission is a 2.5 GPA. If you got that 2.5 graduating high school or even right now, go ahead and apply because you'll automatically get accepted into HT. And distinguished admission, is 3.5 GPA or higher. Now, upon applying, you will have to pay a $25 admission application fee. But because you're here with me today, I'm gonna to have a prize for you at the end of this presentation. We're also waiving these um, ACT and SAT scores. So because you don't, you're not obligated to take those, we still do urge that you share those scores with us. But just to kind of be placed in your classes, but um, they're not required. It is not a requirement that you take these standardized tests, but we do definitely urge you to, if you would like to be placed um, correctly in your courses. Now, I know you're wondering, what kind of scholarships do we have? What kind of activities do we have? We have the WEB Du Bois Scholarship. Now, this is for our first time freshmen who excelled in undergrad. So if you got that 3.5 GPA, this is, this is what you're gonna wanna apply for. 
Students accepted into this program will receive full tuition and fees covered. You will receive an institutional waiver that covers everything. Okay, free. We love free, right? Free. To get into the W.E.B. Du Bois Scholarship Program, you must submit your high school transcripts and have obtained a 3.5 GPA. You're going to need two letters of recommendations from your high school teachers or counselors. You'll need a writing sample that will be an essay prompt. A Zoom interview will be done. And then we are waiving those SAT and ACT scores. They're optional, but we are waiving those. So that's lucky. Now for our transfer students, you must pay a $25 application fee, but stay tuned. You must have earned 24 college credits at your previous institution, or if you have, if you have not obtained 24 credits, you will be evaluated. Your transcript will be evaluated as a first-time freshman. You must have earned at least a 2-3 GPA minimum at that last college with those 24 college credit hours. You must be in good standing, which means you paid that balance off while you were there. You went there, you did your time, you paid them, and they will give you an official transcript in return of you paying that balance off. So you must submit official transcripts, final official. So no course in progress, no still enrolled. It has to be a final transcript, all your credit hours on 24 credit hours minimum to be considered a transfer student. Now we, like I said, we welcome everyone. So we definitely have international admissions. Um, the, de the deadlines for that in the fall is May 1, spring, November 1, and summer, April 1. For automatic admission as an international student, you must pay a $75 application fee. You must submit your transcripts from all non-US high schools, colleges, or universities. And that transcript does need to be evaluated by foreign credential services. There's a, the transcript will be converted to a US transcript. You must submit your test of, Eng, test of English as a foreign language, also known as your TOEFL exam. You must submit verification of financial support from your home and remittance of the equivalent of one semester um, must be paid before you can receive your, form, your I-20 form. So we welcome our international students. We want you here. We're here to help you walk through this process. Now, I know you guys have all been waiting and wondering, how much does it cost to go to HT? How much do you think it costs? Tuition and fees. So our tuition and fees on campus are 11,575. <laughs> and uh, off campus for one semester is $7,351.28. For a whole year here at HT, it's $23,151.45. And for off campus, one whole school year is $14,702.55. Now, do anybody have that sitting in their bank account right now? I don't. <laughs> so we're gonna utilize financial aid. Financial aid. So financial aid, you get it once you apply for the FAFSA, once you complete the FAFSA. The FAFSA is free, is a free application for federal student aid. Free. We love free, right? free. So you're going to want to make sure you complete your FAFSA upon applying to HT. The, our school code is 003577 and the priority deadline for FAFSA is February 15. And you want to do this early because you want to make sure you get all those funds, all the funding that you can get, all the grants, all the potential loans that you can get from FAFSA. You want to make sure you get those early. So make sure you meet that priority deadline. And if you have any questions, about financial aid or just want some more background information on the FAFSA, you can email our financial aid office at finaid at htu.edu. Now, more funding options. Of course, we have two really, really great programs with the Apple Impact, Apple here in um, Austin. We have the Apple Impact Scholars Program. So those of you who want to work with someone who's actually in the field working. We have this great scholarship where you can connect with someone who's working actually in Apple. 
And then we also have this Apple Pre-Ed Scholars Program, which is for students, African-American males specifically, who want to become a kindergarten through 12th grade teacher. So if you want to be an educator, if you're African-American, African-American male and you want to work in education, you have that great opportunity of applying for our Apple Free S Dollars program, which covers full tuition and fees. This is major. This is seldom, this is far and this is few, and this is only at HT. So you want to make sure you research that if you're interested in going into education. Some more additional scholarships. We have institutional-based scholarships. So we have one, like I said, if you have that 2.5 GPA that automatically admitted, you're eligible to apply for our HT General Scholarship. And we have several other institutional-based scholarships that we offer. United Negro College Fund, as I stated earlier. When I applied back in 2018, just from creating an account with UNCF, I was able to get a, a very hefty scholarship. Um, they have also, like I said, they have scholarships for almost everything. They also host internships. And because HT is one of those member institutions, we're lucky to get those UNCF scholarships. We're so very grateful for it. United Methodist Church and the United Church of Christ. Because we are a private institution and we are funded by donation, United Methodist Church, and United Church of Christ, UNCF alumni all donate really, really, really hefty amounts of money to the institution. This money goes straight into your pocket, straight into your student account, straight into your tuition and fees. This money is here and able to be taken. We want you to take it. We want you to seize that opportunity. This year alone, um, the United Methodist Church of Austin cleared the graduating class of 2020, as well as this incoming, incoming freshman class of 2021, cleared their balances, paid off the whole thing. Imagine. I wish. I wish. <laughs> True. So you want to make sure you seize every opportunity of funding that there is available. Now, if you go ahead and scan this QR code today, you can get your application fee waived. So that $25 application fee, gone. Utilize this QR code right now if you want to go ahead and get that fee waived. You apply today, and this, this is temporary. This HTU2021 waiver code is temporary. So you have less than a week to apply. Seize this opportunity now, as we want you here, and we want you to join the family, as we call it. We are the Rams. We call each other Fram, only the Fram. <laughs> Now I'll take some time to, if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat as I am monitoring the chat and I'm ready for all questions. I'm gonna share a little, I'm gonna ask you guys a question actually. Earlier in my presentation, I stated that we, were funded by several different external sources. Could you drop in the chat one of those sources? Who, because we're private, I said it several times, <laughs> just so that to hint at you, because we're a private institution, what are our major sources of funding? Where do you get your external scholarships? What are some places that may provide you some funding here at HT? UNCF, Apple, Alumni, United Church of Christ, United Methodist Church are all great, great sources of funding for HT. A little bit more about HT, we, were, we have two historical landmarks on campus. Two historical landmarks that cannot be burned down. If you know them, please drop them in the chat. If HT ever decides to close, these two landmarks on campus will never perish. They will never be taken down. They can never be moved as they are historical landmarks. 
One is our alumni hall, Louise and Anthony Byer alumni hall, as well as I'm sorry, I got sidetracked. So if you guys have any more questions about HT, please do not hesitate to drop it in the chat. Please do not hesitate to take advantage of this QR code. This waives your application. Please, please, please seize every opportunity. And again, I wanna thank you guys for coming out tonight to A Digital World hosted by HBCU United.